okay just setting up I'm running up but late and just struggling to get this thing set up tonight okay hi Cleo hi Kieran just give a wave or a hi as you're dropping in just getting everything ready hi Anna hi Kieran hi John If you've got any of your stuff with you that we normally have, you can get that ready. Who else is dropping on? I am smelling peppermint today. And we've got a little bit of an extra treat because of who we're working with. Hi, Edvish. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to show you all about that. I'm just going to give it another minute or two. You got your candle ready, Edvish. Hi, Anna. Hi, Jenny. Clear. Hi, Robbie. Okay. Um, whoever's got candles, we can start getting that ready now. So, as you know, I've been promising for a while that we are going to the Star Ancestors tonight, to the Star Beings, to the Galactic Beings. Something a little, little bit different to what we used to. Um, just give me a sec. What do you mean, what, Edvish? You're going to the Star Beings. It was the same one as last week. The so card that I pulled last week was lighting up my candle. <laughs> All right, let's get your candles lit. Okay, got mine going. Hi. Okay, got the candle burning. So if you don't have a candle, not to worry. That one's burning on behalf of all of us. Hi, Cora. Hello. Hi, Joseph. So, because we're working with the star beings tonight, which is a little bit different to what you used to working with me, I want to tell you something quickly. Um, I need to show you something I got in South Africa. And I know that it's really hard to come by in this country, in Ireland, being this country. I know it's really hard to come by here. But um, where I've... So I'm a, a star child as well as a shaman and many other things. Um, but I always found myself saying to William, and this may sound weird to some of you, I always find myself saying to William like a couple of years back, you know, I just want to go home. And William would be, well, you are home. And I'd be like, no, I just want to go home. And I didn't never truly understood what that meant. And then I realized I was referring to just wanting to go up, you know, back up to the stars, that I was more comfortable with being up in the stars with the galactic beings than I was being down here on Earth. So I went to South Africa, and this is beautiful big shop called the Rock Shop. And I found the stone. I don't know. Can you see it? Give me a thumbs up or tell me if I'm actually... Hi, Cora. Give me a thumbs up if you can see that stone. <laughs> Okay, this, hi Ira, so good to see you, so to speak. This stone is um, Moldavite, okay? When I saw the stone in um, South Africa, I picked it up and I just had tears streaming down my face and I couldn't understand why. So we looked up in the book and in the actual book, it says, if you find yourself saying, I just want to go home like word for word what I was saying for so many months two years ago so in those moments where I'm feeling um, a little bit lost or a little bit hi Aoife a little bit lost or a little bit confused then I will wear my um, pendant my chain is broken that I wear it with normally so I'm not wearing it tonight but I have it with me but what I did find is although the stone is apparently very hard to come by 
amber shop in Galway and I know you can order stuff online I don't know if they have any of this left you can actually buy Maldivite um, in incense sticks which I thought was fantastic so before we even call on the ancestors and because we're dealing with the star beings and Maldivite is such a good energy to have with the star beings and you know I'll get Cleo to type up anything extra and and um, Kieran that they know about Maldivite because I don't work heavily with crystals, but in our tribe we have Cleo, and Cleo which I always say are the um, our crystal king and queens. So I'll get them to type up if they want anything. So it smells amazing. It smells absolutely amazing. Um, I don't burn the whole stick out because the energy does go really wacky and really crazy. So I'm just going to send a little bit of Maldivite your way. And send a little bit of Maldivite my way and just that's already just to start to put the intent because we're not only working with the ancestors tonight but we're working with the I just burnt myself with the star being energy as well has anybody else been really clumsy the last week especially the last two days everything is literally jewelry is snapping off me um some of my important pieces are, are breaking in half um, I mean, I'm just letting it be, but still. Okay, let's call on the ancestors now that we've got the Maldivite going. As usual, I'm lighting the Hempepu. Okay, and while I get that burning, I just want to remind you guys that on Sunday, this coming Sunday... Um, is the workshop that we're doing, my sister and I are doing for charity, money being raised for the, um, for the cats and the dogs um, here in, for Madra and Galway Cat Rescue. So it's donation based, 100% of the proceeds are going, just take a deep breath in for me everyone, 100% of the proceeds are going to charity. So if you want to join, just go to the Gentle Warrior Facebook page and the event unleashing the wild within it's a great workshop both Taryn and i are hosting two hours 100 percent donation based pay what you can afford um and the money is going to charity hi siobhan all right everyone take a nice deep breath in no worry siobhan siobhan is shopping and um got this on <laughs> okay deep breath I call on the ancestors from the north, the east, the south, the west. I ask you to come down from the mountains, from the bushes, from the caves, from the rivers, from the seas to join us here tonight. I call on my prophet and I give permission to remove the, remove the veil from my eyes. Malcolm McCall's deep breath in. I call on my maternal and my paternal lines, my ancestors in heaven that love, know and respect me. I call on my guardian ancestors, Mikosas and the Zulus. I call on the galactic being. And I ask them to join us tonight as that's who we are going to go and visit. Take a deep breath in. And out. Tonight I'm going to call on the archangels as well because I think we're going to be working with one of them tonight. Welcome, of course. Deep breath in. I call on the ancestors of, say your first name and second name for me now, out loud. I call on your paternal and your maternal ancestors in heaven that love, know and respect you. And I call on your guardian ancestors from love and light. And I ask them to work with you tonight, to work with me tonight. To protect you on your journey. Welcome, of course. So tonight we're going to go work with the star beings. I find that working with the star beings, many people are afraid of them because they don't understand them. So I'm really excited to be introducing to you to them tonight because they are beautiful beings. And just like anything else, you have good and bad to all. So you have instances where not all are good, but we're working with the star beings from good light and energy tonight. And I want to introduce you to my star beings. Mark and McCall's deep breath in. Okay. I'm getting ready now 
to journey. Just going to move the hemp poo out the way. If you're sensitive to noise, you may just want to block your ears for two secs. So I'm still playing around with my mic. I've shifted it to this side tonight so you can hopefully get the drum more as well. Okay, nice deep breath in. And just start taking some deep breaths and as you breathe out, sigh. Feel that feather now dropping into your heart. Let the drum beat take you even deeper. 
encouraging you. And the energy feels very familiar. And as he heads towards you, you notice it's Archangel Michael.
noticing another door. Stopping in front of this door as you knock on the door. Knocking out of respect. The door automatically opens. Healing needs to happen to take place now. 
breaths in. Another deep breath in. One last 
deep breath in. Start to wiggle your fingers. Don't mind me. Start to wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. Rub your hands together. You can place them over your eyes if you want. Just feel the warmth as you take your time to adjust your eyes back into the room. Deep breath in. <sighs> All right, is everybody back from their journey? I'm just going to light, actually I'm just going to spray some Clears and Uplift spray from Nova Stella, who also sells their stuff online. If you have any oils or essences or um, what do you call these thingies? incense sticks or anything to smell or burn to bring yourself back now would be a good time to do it <sighs> it's always good when you go on a journey to have little things little tools with you in the room um just to help to ground you and bring you back okay i'm going to take a minute now or longer than a minute um but does anybody want to let me know how their journey went is it somebody is it anybody's first time that they've gone up to the galactic beings to experience this um was anybody nervous of doing it because i have found for some reason people do get nervous about this type of energy um and it is unknown was did anybody have was anybody surprised by what they saw or felt um and now is your time to share with me I know I've spoken to a few of you who were very excited about going to meet them. And is it something that you feel that you could be doing again on your own? Do you feel ready that you have the, the means now to get up and to go up alone? Jenny, my first time, it was very peaceful. That's great. I'm really pleased, Jenny. Will you be going again? And of course, this is going to be going, I'm putting this on YouTube as well. I'm putting all of my videos I'm uploading onto my YouTube channel, which is Gentle Warrior, because it's easier to find the, the videos there as well. Um, so do go onto Gentle Warrior and, um, and like my YouTube channel. I'm busy building it up. I'll definitely visit them again. Great. And if you want, you can use this um, just for your first few times, if need be, just to feel safe and comfortable and confident to go up to meet the um the beings to go to the chamber and then um and then go on your own you know go on your own and just see you'll have different methods of going there like i i don't take archangel michael with me anymore i kind of close my eyes and i blink and i'm there um and then yeah it's different every single time edvish how did you find that are you still on? I know that you were excited to be going. Does anybody feel as if it's not the right energy for them and that they won't necessarily be exploring it again, which is also 100% okay? Clear and Kieran, I know you've been up plenty of times with me and on your own. Edvish, good. Okay, good to know. And you're good. Good to know. I know Siobhan has been up plenty of times as well. Thumbs up from Clear and Kieran as well. Okay. Um... Ira, I liked it a lot. Nice place. It is. It is very peaceful. Like for me, what the way I see it is it can be a little bit clinical sometimes. I keep asking them to make it less clinical. Um, Anna, um, they were working on my throat and head 
and I couldn't move my head for a bit. Then you said about the throat. <laughs> yeah, nicely aligned. Brilliant. So powerful and so new to me. My first time. Thank you. Anna, you're welcome. I was quite surprised they said put it in your throat. I really would have thought that they were going to say your heart. And when they said the throat, I was like, why? Why the throat? But it is to call them as well. Joe um, Maldivite is in the throat and was absorbed beautifully. Perfect. And use it as a, as a means to call them safely. Michelle loved it. Safe and peaceful. Brilliant. Cora needed that. It was great. Oh, Cora, I do miss you. <laughs> I'm glad that you got what you needed. Edvish was peaceful, magical, but it takes me time to go deep. Um, oh, yeah. is That's only when we go up, isn't it? We were saying last week that that's when you go up that you find it. Time to go deep because you don't struggle when we go down, right? And then, um, does anybody, because we actually pulled this card, I think we pulled this card last time. When did we pull this card? It may have been last week, I can't remember. Should we pull a card now so we can work on something this week? Because we've been working on the galactic being leading up. John, all good. Good to hear, John. I'm going to pull a card. I'm going to put the Star Ancestors card back. <laughs> of course, Ed Vigis. Yes. yes, she loves a card. I'm going to put this one back because we have been working on it for a week now. And um, I'm going to put the... I am dropping everything lately. Just bear with me. My pack is... There we go. I probably should work with another pack, but I'm just, I'm loving it too much. I'm loving this. I just don't want to switch it. Jennifer, thanks, Janine. Look forward to listening to it again and definitely needed Maldivite for throat as it's sore. Oh, yeah, of course, you're not well. When you said um, to call them, I felt emotional. Um, okay, you see, so the Maldivite and the whole feeling of a sense of coming home as well try and get your hands on this i don't know if amber still has it i bought it the beginning of the year already edvish yes new card please kieran being of maldivite ashtar okay so we can get that information from kieran kieran if you want to put that on the tribal teachings page jenny what cards are they oh my gosh they are my favorite card angels and ancestors oracle cards they are by kyle gray can Am I showing you that right? Can you see it okay? I got it. It was a gift from Siobhan um, because I threatened to take hers and she didn't want to lose it. So it's one way to get a gift. Okay, deep breath in everyone. So we're just setting the intent of what we're going to collectively be working on for the week ahead. I pulled this card this morning. Um, for a client, actually, a diff um, a different client, um, peacekeeper. Let go of the need to be right. So I pulled this card because I had a situation where I needed to go into energies that were a little bit nerve wracking. Um. A lot of stuff around these energies and um, I, I would really pull a card where I feel as if I need even extra support about keeping myself safe but this was um, not the norm situation so it was interesting because I was going in to look at energies that were attacking someone stunning cards they are Jennifer I was going in to look at a lot there was about three energies that was attacking a client and um, and I got the peacekeeper so it wasn't to go in to face these energies like ferociously or, you know, head on or antagonize or anything like that, which I don't do in general, but it was reminding me to um, to come in from a place of peace as well. That's also the best way to deal with our emotions, which I speak of quite often. Like, I don't know about anybody else at the moment, but with the whole quarantine, I know everybody's going through stages and different stages. So the stage that I'm getting to at the moment is kind of 
where I feel that maybe I am making, like I'm quite happy for quarantine to go on a bit longer, to be honest, but I realize that the reason for that is that I may be making quarantine my safety blanket. Um, and then there's the worry about what's going to happen when the doors open and life goes on. And there's that like, oh my gosh, I'm, I've become so accustomed to doing it like this. It feels nice and safe and cozy for me. And I know it feels the same for everybody else. So even as we're heading into the week where we don't know if we have being, you know, let out, so to speak, or not. Remember when you're looking at the door that's going to lead to your unknown future, that you need to be coming from the peacekeeper space. Okay, and to me, the energy, for those of you that have been doing this weekly with me, to do, to, for me, the peacekeeper energy feels very much aligned to remember when we were breaking the arrows in one of the earlier um, meditations we were doing. To me, that felt quite aligned, like this peacekeeper feels very much like the breaking of the arrows and the handing over of peace. So whatever you're facing in your life at the moment, come as the peacekeeper, and she's holding a peace pipe as well. So come as the peacekeeper. Um, and not in a in an argumentative or confrontational way. Can anybody resonate with that card? I know I can. When I look at the door of, holy crap, what's going to happen when we get out of isolation and to be mindful of not going into a flat spin, um, I know that I'll be coming with arrows, um, the breaking of the arrows from that we discussed, that healing modality and coming as the peacekeeper. Is anybody else feeling that they are needing this card right now? Jenny, yes, the card is perfect. Ira, definitely a good card for me. Yeah, it's a good reminder. Good. Edvige, are you happy with the card? And then we're going to close circle. So I'm going to keep this card out. Thanks for the heart, Jenny. Joe, a great reminder. Michelle, yes, big time. John, yes, strongly resonate when you pulled it. And a great card, I resonate. Good, good. Yeah, even with dealing with your emotions, come from a place of peace. Okay, let's close circle, guys. So I don't know where we're going to be going next week, um, Monday. Um, and it's interesting because we don't even know if it's our last Monday together or not. It's so bizarre. Um, definitely good, Jennifer. I'm glad. All right, guys. Um, regardless of what happens, whether we go get out or not, um, on Monday we will be um, we will be shamanic journeying here. So I will be here with you guys on Monday. Let's thank the ancestors. Yes, can do, Bernie. Fantastic. Um, let's thank the ancestors for joining with you today, for keeping you safe. Archangel Michael, remember to take him up. Um, um, Edvige, yes, I am happy with the card, but not sure what to do with it just yet. Felt really crap and emotional these last two days. Very sad. Um, and for no apparent reason, Edvige, because I can tell you, like, um, for me, the energies are very high. Bernie just came in with peace card fab. Great. <laughs> well, there's a good message for you, Bernie. You can play back to listen to the meditation. Edvige, the energies are quite high and a lot of people I'm speaking to are needing to rest. I was just saying to William that it's actually been a while since I've had a day of rest. I've been working pretty hard trying to sort things out um, and just constantly feel like I'm rushing um, and busy. And, and I actually need to take a solid day out where I don't look at Gentle Warrior. I don't prep anything. I, I just um, sleep. I could do with a good sleep as well. And, you know, I've actually had a really good day today. But when I went downstairs to cook dinner, my emotions got really heightened as well. And I didn't really know why. And then I managed to to bring them down again, not really just emotions coming up. Yeah, got reflux and belly pain. 
Well, reflex, um, yeah, so reflex is from holding emotions and storing it. So your emotions are trying to come out. The belly pain is because your emotions are stored there. So if anybody else like Edvige and myself during the last few days is facing emotions as well, just allow it to flow, welcome it into flow. Go back and listen to that meditation where we sat and dealt with emotions safely and let it go. I don't remember what week it is, but go to my YouTube channel and find that meditation and do it again. Um, but a little bit today, didn't do nothing. Yeah, that's good. Yes, me too. I'd say, yeah, say off today. Yeah, I agree, Bernie, as well. So do remember to do that. Um, don't, you know, don't worry about that. Let the emotions flow and they're going to be all over the place as well. So don't beat yourself up and rest where you can. So this week, I'm not, I'm going to be taking a lot more rest. Day off, not say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I agree, Bernie. Jennifer, that's what I have too, Edvige. Hope you feel better soon. Yeah, um, it, it is. It is. The emotions are high. So as you can hear, others are going through too. Good. Okay, go back, guys, and listen to the meditations with dealing with emotions. Jennifer, probably a good one for you to do as well. And we'll see what happens. Maybe next week we need to touch more on emotions or, you know, getting ready for the unexpected, preparing. I don't know. On Thursday, you know, maybe that's what we need to do Thursday. Thursday, we have the holistic hangout. Before I close circle, <laughs> I'm such saying we're going to close circle. Is there anything, is anybody, Thursday, 7 o'clock is holistic hangout. It's on Zoom. Um, the details are on the Gentle Worry Facebook page. Is anybody wanting, I can relate to the last two days, yeah, Cora. Um, is anybody wanting, I'm going to try and speak English. Anna, yes, it's very emotional time for me too. I'm all over the shop, yeah. If anybody's wanting to join on Thursday to the Holistic Hangout, which is just an informal sit down, have a chat, see what comes up. Is there any topics that anybody wants to speak about? Anything that you're feeling that needs to be looked at? Because if so, then I can raise that on Thursday and we can spend that hour on Thursday coming up with, I can prepare a little bit more in getting some tools and techniques together for you guys. But remember, Thursday's not just me mentoring or training you guys. It's give and take. So, you know, you guys will be sharing techniques and stuff that you've used in the past. I'll be sharing mine. We'll be combining our magic to pass information. So is there any particular thing that on Thursday you think you could benefit from and that you'd want to be looking at? And then I can start getting some magic together. No, no worries, Bernie. It's okay if you can't make it. Um, is there anything in particular? Because I can plan and you can always reach out to me privately. Um, but then I can start to um, get some stuff together for you or to channel, you know, go and speak to the ancestors and see if there's any tools or techniques I can share with you guys. Because I don't know how many of those we've got left either. Okay, so you can drop me a note personally, but it would be nice to have feedback from you guys if anybody is wanting to join and what you'd like us to discuss. Um, okay, so again, oh, Edvish, <laughs> sorry, felt really annoyed by the people in my house too. I felt it for the first time and I wanted to go out of the house, um, but okay, again, feel frustrated, but fed up and overwhelmed, but was doing good until um everyone but was doing good until now just came from nowhere jenny i'm quite new to this i'd like to just listen and learn that's fine jenny um but you'll have plenty to offer trust me edvish but all good let it be and hopefully it'll pass it will pass edvish john thank you good night night john bernie all cool at the moment okay guys reach out to me privately let me know if there's anything you want to talk about talk about maybe we need to start talking about prepping for um maybe we need to speak on thursday about prepping for the um uh, getting us getting ready and in coming out of isolation because i don't know if there's many people that are thinking about that at the moment either so we thank our ancestors for a beautiful journey tonight we thank the galactic beings we thank the moldavite gift that we got as well and remember not to blow your candles out because you're blowing out the intent. And just letting that go. Take a deep breath. Um, and now would be a good time as well. If any of you have been releasing and you do have sage to give your room a good clear. If you don't have sage, even just clapping the energies 
um, and letting that emotions and stuff that you're free, imagine a shamanic fire in the room and just let it take those emotions, anything you've released. Have a fantastic week, guys. I'll speak to some of you on Thursday. If you're going to join us um, for the Holistic Hangout, reach out to me if you need anything. Um, other, oh, yes, and on Sunday, there's the workshop. So go and look for the Releasing the Wild Within. And um, otherwise, I'll see you on Monday. Much love and blessings to you all. Bye.